What's up YouTube? Marvin Four here with another Great American Survival. And in this week's episode, we're gonna be installing a Rail Blaza Starport HD mount on our Pelican Catch 120. Stick with us, I'll tell you all about it. This video is intended for all ages. So as I said, this is my Pelican Catch 120. I scored these Rail Blaza Starports last year on clearance, and I honestly bought them, I've probably had them a year, and they don't work with a lot of my other fishing accessories. They don't work with some of my old Scotty mounts, and they don't work with some of my Ram mounts, so I just never installed them. Well, last week I placed a fishing order, and when I did, the company had the Rail Blaza camera boom on sale for less than $20, so I got it. And I'm gonna be installing it and using it in the future for that over-the-shoulder fishing view. So if you have that to look forward to, I hope. I'm gonna be installing it back here, and then I'm gonna install the other one on my um, Yak Attack Black Pack. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna show you what they sent us, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So like I said, this is the Rail Blossom Starport HD mount, just like that. Very cool. As you see, it is pretty worn out. Like I said, it's been in my garage for over a year. Uh, it does come with hardware. It comes with four stainless steel screws, four stainless steel walk locking nuts, and four stainless steel washers. Then you get your starport, which is a pretty cool mount. I love the fact that it's flush, so you don't have to drill any holes for it to go through, for the mount to go through or anything like that. Just bolt it right to the top, which is why I'm gonna be using it on my black pack. And that's how it locks and unlocks. Very nice, very easy. It does warn not to use petroleum-based lubricants on your starport slide or accessories because it'll melt them, basically. And it says to use silicone only. So let's look forward to doing that. We're gonna put that down. Next, I'm gonna need my Leatherman. This is my Leatherman Crunch. It's one of the only locking uh, multi-tools that are out there. It's great. I'll use it to hold the nuts still while I tighten them. I've got a Sharpie to mark my holes. I've got my stainless, my little Makita cordless drill with a 632nd drill bit. And last but not least, I'll be using a Phillips screwdriver to run this, uh, the bolts in. Very cool. I'm excited. Let's get started. So what I decided to do is I'm going to mount mine to my hatch. Uh, I just installed this hatch. If you want, there's a video for that. It's a pretty easy process. I really enjoy having this access hatch. This is the bag that goes in it. But I wanted it to be in an area where I had easy access to where I didn't have to rivet this. I want to really snug this down tight and not have any issues with it wobbling or wiggling. There's already going to be a little bit from what I've seen with the mount with the camera mount and I don't want any more. So I wanna make sure this is nice and snug and tight. It's, it's gonna be awesome. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill these holes out. And when you do, make sure that you, here, let me show you. I'm gonna bring this around. Make sure that wherever you pick, that these little reinforcements aren't in the way, that you're not drilling through them it's just a little bit, you don't wanna break any of the reinforcements. You don't wanna cause the plastic to crack, any of that. So I'm gonna drill some holes and I'll be right back. I've already installed two of them and then I wanted to install the, lat, the other two so you guys got an idea. Now this is one thing I will say with these, with these stainless steels, with a 632nd, you can put it on here and you can just kind of run it in and then you can put the nut on the back, so. Very nice. Gives me a great idea of where it's gonna be. Now I'm gonna open this hatch, it's not going anywhere. And then I'm gonna put the nuts and the washers on the inside and tighten those up. As you see, the finished product is pretty cool. I'll show you some more video in a second, uh, but Braille Blaza makes some great products. Um, I see them being very useful 
uh, for the people that want to get into kayak fishing or anything like that. They come in really handy. I'll put a link to Rail Blaza. I'm not really going to promote where to buy them. I'll just give you their website and let you check out some of their gear and see what they got and then just find it where you want. Um, I don't really have an affiliate link to any most places. Uh, Amazon, I just kind of link it there. It doesn't really help me any. It doesn't give me any money or anything. I just tell you where I bought it. Uh, but these right here, they work. They work really well. And just like that, that's going to be the final product. This is the results. We're going to have our camera boom holding our camera up. And it's going to be able to give us a really cool profile when we're out on the water. Guys, this was a really easy install. Now, whether you want to use it for that or a rod holder or anything else, a flag mount, because um, when you're out on the water, you've got to have a flag, a visibility flag. And the cool thing about the rail blaza mount is there's a place for two eyelets for you to hang a flag. Now, I wouldn't hang a flag on a camera boom just because you're just asking for trouble. You're just going to get a lot of wind and even more shaking and vibrating. But I understand it's a double. It doubles as a flag holder, but it's a pretty cool product. I'll be reviewing it soon. But if you're new to kayak fishing and want to get into this, have any questions, guys, shoot them down below. Ask me. I've been doing this for a long time. I've been kayak fishing growing up in Southern California out of whitewater kayaks. So it's a lot of fun. It's a great activity. It really makes it where you don't have to afford a giant expensive bass boat to get on some of these bodies of water. And not to mention, there are places you can go like with a John boat and with a kayak that bass boats don't get to go. So if you have any questions, shoot them down below. And guys, if you're new to our channel, press that subscribe button and let us know that you want to be part of this community. And guys, ring the bell. That way you get notified every time I post a new video. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed this video. And make sure you take time this week to get out there, enjoy yourself, enjoy nature, be prepared, and stay safe. God bless, guys. We'll see you soon.